Well, welcome to another episode of Let the Truth Be Told. My name is Sean Williams, and I thank the Lord for being in the studio once again. It is an afternoon, and we are taping this program, and I'm so excited to be down here. Thank you, Jason, uh, for being able to be uh, uh, our producer and pr uh, production manager behind the scenes today. Uh, thank you, Brother Hub, for yes, pausing sir. your day to yes, be at the sir. program. Yes, sir. Um, I really appreciate it. And most of all, I thank you guys for tuning in every Sunday night. I appreciate you guys tuning in every single night. And everybody that come up to me and say, Sean, I watch your program every Sunday night. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, today we're going to come in, but let me get Hub to introduce himself. Introduce yourself to the to the Brother Hub, audience. Brother Hub, Brother Hub. That's all that need to be known, Brother Hub. Jason, your check is in the mail. Sean, <laughs> once again, I appreciate you giving me the honor and privilege uh, to be on this show, uh, uh, getting a lot of feedback, and, yeah. and the last couple of weeks has really, really uh, shined a lot, a light on what we've been talking about all along. So well, you know, uh, sometimes people got to hear it a different way, yeah. with a different spirit. Maybe our spirits ain't always where it's supposed to be, and maybe that's why people don't hear it. But clearly, let the record reflect that the last two, three weeks, a lot of things that we're talking about. Um, Brother Anduho came in town and exposed. Right, right, right. Yeah. And so you know, I, I've listened to a lot of people, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of feedback mm -hmm. uh, for the last programs, and I, and I really appreciate you assisting me um, to be able to uh, to be able to get the word out. Yes, sir. You know, uh, yes, sir. Uh, some people just some people got to ring the bell. Yes, sir. Uh, we all don't have the same yes, job. Yes, sir. And yes, so sir. I thank the Lord for having yeah. me yeah. in my place mm -hmm. where I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be at within my life mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. um, being able to mold me mm -hmm. into what. Uh, vessel he has mm -hmm. me uh, to be to be able to, to be the voice. To be and I don't want to get too deep, so. but I got to say this because I'll forget it because I'm getting yeah. old. But everybody can't ring the bell. Yeah. Because some people ring the bell, they gonna get in trouble when they get at work. Yeah. 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 But when I get the suits by a soldier, can't nobody get me in trouble but me. So I thank God that He's put us in a position where we can ring the bell. Ring the bell. But just because you can't ring the bell, don't mean that you can't move in silence or support it. Or support. Of support. We and need we, all hands and, on deck. And, and you you ain't got to be the one to put the park district on blast. I do that, yeah, right? Yeah. But man, you got to understand that I'm doing it to wake people up. Yeah. Say, man, we ain't got to put up with this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, brother Hub, we're gonna get into our dialogue. We, um, um, I just wanted to uh, do some housekeeping. Just appreciate everybody that in tuned in to us. Appreciate everybody for the last program, mm -hmm. last segment. Um, we're going to get into our topic. We always entitle these programs, yeah. and uh, I thought that we'll revisit a title because we had so much going yes. since the last program. Yes. So much has went on since the last program, mm -hmm. last taping of the program. Mm -hmm. And so um, I, we entitled this program today, um, The Wilderness is Crying Out for a Voice. Let me repeat that. The wilderness is crying out for a voice. And, Hub, have we seen the wilderness crying out for crying a voice in the last, I say, last few weeks? Yes, sir. And, and yes, I, sir. I, when I just said that, I got chills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got chills yes, when I just said yes, that. Yes, sir. The yes, wilderness sir. is crying, crying out for, for a voice. voice. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing it uh, from old people, mm -hmm. young folk, mm -hmm. married folk, mm -hmm. church folk, mm -hmm. political folk. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. wherever wherever arena that you're in, mm -hmm. we're seeing it. Families, mm -hmm. we're seeing it. We're seeing it. The wilderness it's is crying, crying out for a voice. voice. And see, in the biblical days, John the Baptist said, I'm just a voice crying out there in the wilderness. And he was calling for people to come know God. But now the wilderness, the people that John the Baptist was crying out for, they calling, we need a John the Baptist. We need a man or a woman of God. We need some help. Yeah, yeah. And it shows, it might be shown from shooting. It might be shown from a violence. But what I'm learning in special ed, the behaviors that act out because a lot of people are embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So they rather get kicked out the class than not let you know that they don't know the answer to something. Right. So right, right. So with the wilderness crying out for a voice, mm -hmm. one of the backdrops that I, I had and, mm -hmm. and one of the scriptures that came into mind mm -hmm. um, as I, as we thought about the topic, we talked and dialogued about mm -hmm. the topic, mm -hmm. is the day you hear my voice, mm -hmm. harden out your heart. Mm -hmm. The day, the day, you hear, the, day the, the day, the day you the hear day. my voice, hard yeah. not your heart. Right. And I think that was a challenge to both me and you yes, sir. to do what we've been doing, yes, whether sir. if it was going to the military right. or, or right. whether it's hearing that voice and say, hey, mm -hmm. man, you need to slow down, mm -hmm. change your lives mm -hmm. around and do some other things mm -hmm. to be able to be put in position mm -hmm. to be a business owner. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. day you hear my, my voice, voice yeah. hard not, hard your, not heart. your heart. 
you know, mm-hmm. and so that wouldn't just go with that just being as a, a, a acknowledging God mm-hmm. and, 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 and going in to say, hey, look, mm-hmm. hey, look, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. me, oh, Lord, standing mm-hmm. in the need of prayer. I need I need help. Mm-hmm. You know, it goes in a whole mm-hmm. bunch of different areas. Mm-hmm. And so the backdrop of of what we're going to discuss a little bit today is that we've had uh, we've had two murders, mm-hmm. uh, two murders mm-hmm. that have happened here in the community mm-hmm. within the last few weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one is a childhood friend of mine. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just we just did a program. Mm-hmm. We just came back off mm-hmm. of uh, the Boys Club 50th anniversary, mm-hmm. and we were and we didn't know that God was bringing us into an area for a certain purpose. Joe Stovall put together such a magnificent yes, program, sir. and so for to bring all the alumnus mm-hmm. of the Boys Club mm-hmm. together. So we mm-hmm. met down there that Friday night for that meet and mm-hmm. greet and that, that, that uh, street party, mm-hmm. that block party. Mm-hmm. And so I got down there a little late, but everybody was already in, the place. in the place. You know, everybody in the place. And it was so good to mm-hmm. see so many of my old yes. buddies and, yes. and stuff like that and all the guys that used to run the club. Mm-hmm. And, and then we got in there, we shot some pictures. Mm-hmm. See, and it's so amazing mm-hmm. when I'm doing these funerals because you never know what's going to be that picture that's going to be put on that church program mm-hmm. or the one that might be mm-hmm. part of that slide mm-hmm. or, you know, or whatever the case mm-hmm. might have been, you know. But we ended up seeing one of our guys get killed. And not only was he a boys club mm-hmm. member, he was a military vet. Yes, we mm-hmm. all went to the military together mm-hmm. around the same time because mm-hmm. we wanted to get up out of Champagne. The main thing mm-hmm. during our era back in 86, 87 mm-hmm. was to, you know, go to college. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't go to college, Go to the military. Mm-hmm. So we want. We all went to the military. Mm-hmm. Darren went to the military, mm-hmm. and so so uh, so. What happened is that he he went off to the military. We all went to the military. So he was a military veteran. Mm-hmm. So and what I'm talking about, and the guy that was murdered was Darren Mitchell. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, 47, 48 years mm-hmm. old, my age, 48, mm-hmm. somewhere around that, maybe 49, mm-hmm. my age. I mean, good guy. Good guy. Great guy. Good guy, man. And it was it was shown at his funeral. Good good guy, yeah. man. Yeah, standing I mean, room only. I mean, a good guy. I mm-hmm. ran into him. I mm-hmm. just spoke with him. Mm-hmm. He was trying to, he was a member of the American Legion, mm-hmm. faithful member of the mm-hmm. American Legion. Mm-hmm. And he was trying to get me to do some things down at the American Legion with him to try to change the dynamics of what's mm-hmm. going on mm-hmm. so that we can make the place better. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. and so so that was that was some of our last conversations. But um they were having a backyard party, mm-hmm. backyard after work. Thursday afternoon, older folks, we thinking it's a safe environment, mm-hmm. older folks, mm-hmm. and he get into some type of confrontation. Childhood friend. With a childhood friend. With a childhood yeah. friend. Yeah. Another guy that I've been knowing mm-hmm. in the community. Mm-hmm. We all knew his situation. We all knew he was hurt. We all know he was all used to be trying to be a bully. Mm-hmm. I'll say his name on the program. We're looking for him right now mm-hmm. so he can be uh, brought to justice. Mm-hmm. Sean Russell. Mm-hmm. We knew him. I mean, mm-hmm. I did. I seen him. I dealt with him a lot in the barber shop mm-hmm. and all those type of things. Mm-hmm. And we knew he was a he was a guy that was hurt. Mm-hmm. You know, a guy mm-hmm. that was a bully, mm-hmm. a guy that tried ran to be, mm-hmm. as my mom would say, ran to be bad. Mm-hmm. Unaddressed eels. Mm-hmm. So many of us know folks in the community that mm-hmm. still with unaddressed mm-hmm. eels, mm-hmm. and we ignore him. Mm-hmm. Just man, what's your problem? Mm-hmm. But that day. It all exploded. It all exploded. And it exploded out on a childhood friend. Mm-hmm. Murdered Darren mm-hmm. Mitchell mm-hmm. down at a place mm-hmm. where he was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. A safe spot, mm-hmm. a veterans organization mm-hmm. in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. But I always say, Hub, huh, it's not lo- how long we be here. Mm-hmm. It's not how long we be here. It's what you do while you're here. Right here. Man, mm-hmm. and so, and I always talk about your legacy, that dash, mm-hmm. what that service gonna mm-hmm. look like, mm-hmm. and what them folks gonna talk about at that mm-hmm. service. Mm-hmm. And we was able to see a miraculous service for Darren. Mm-hmm. So big shouts out to his family, mm-hmm. big shouts to the American Legion, yes. big shouts out to everybody that supported, that traveled the yeah. highways and Passed the byways, that and came Vincent back Duho. to put that service together. Mm-hmm. Big shouts out to Pastor Parks and the Pilgrim mm-hmm. Missionary mm-hmm. Baptist Church and mm-hmm. the Culinary Committee and mm-hmm. everybody that wrapped their arms around mm-hmm. that family during mm-hmm. this most tragical times mm-hmm. in their lives. Mm-hmm. All of my friends that came back and mm-hmm. and 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 the, and the then the fellowships we had over the Marlins house, his mm-hmm. brother Marlins house, and mm-hmm. everybody coming back and everybody pitching in to put a dollar here and a dollar there, mm-hmm. you know, so that everybody had a great time. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I'm with my buddy Big Wayne, you know, under the circumstances, this has been a heck of a weekend. Mm-hmm. And it, it was a heck of a weekend, mm-hmm. and he went out and, and just, just, just high standard style. style. 
high standard mm-hmm. style. But let's get into the charge, the charge. that the charge yeah. that Julio and Duho, mm-hmm. his brother Vince, Vince mm-hmm. first uh, first got up, mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. Uh, and 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 so he first got up mm-hmm. because he couldn't let the little brother outshine him. Yes. So he had to do a little something, something. He did it. You know, too. he service. did it. He did and, it. And 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 for me personally, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm you know I'll do funerals, mm-hmm. but thank God for being on the back side of this because it was so hard for me mm-hmm. to set in that service. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, Hub, I cried mm-hmm. probably three-fourths of the service. Mm-hmm. And I all made a, I made a, mm-hmm. a, a, a outburst, mm-hmm. <laughs> if you noticed, if mm-hmm. some of the people around me kind of mm-hmm. noticed, mm-hmm. but I made an outburst when I seen him in that mm-hmm. cast. Mm-hmm. It just threw me off. It, it didn't make sense. It threw uh, me A-Dub, off. A-Dub, A-Dub, Aaron Ammons, uh, Councilman Aaron Ammons looked me straight in the eye and said, man, this is this don't make no sense. It, it just that's the way the whole. It was like even though we knew it was going down, we were still in shock. Hub, and as we you as I, re, I reflect back mm-hmm. on it now, you know, I, I do I do homicides and stuff all the time, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I never did know the meaning of senseless murder mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. until that service, mm-hmm. sitting in that mm-hmm. service and shaking my head mm-hmm. in the beginning of that service, mm-hmm. and I'm saying, man, this is. This is senseless. This is senseless. This is yeah. senseless. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, I, you were in, you were part of the ministerial staff. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. You were in the you were in the pulpit. You mm-hmm. were close up mm-hmm. there. Uh, tell us a little bit about Julio's charge to our community. Um, Julio did such a great job uh, because he already had rapport. The, the, the crowd that was there, the people that were there were the funeral were mostly middle aged. I would right. say, I would say thirty five to fifty five. Right. And so it wasn't no young thirty cats. So his message was directly to us, and by us growing up with him, and so many people having so much respect for him, and him just being so on point with his oracle, uh, uh, his message. He started off with humor. And by that, he gained our attention. Those of us who knew Darren, he spoke facts. Exactly. See, so when you, when you, when you give the truth, people have to respond. Most comedians that are successful, they're really telling the truth. Right. They're right. telling about their family or whatever. Right. So uh, Pastor Julio was able to reel us in and really get us engaged because he talked about Darren. Yeah, yeah. And that was the common denominator, Darren. Yeah. And so, but after that, he was able to talk about salvation before he gave the charge. He talked about Darren, the possibility of Darren going to heaven. And I thought that was so powerful because later on, when he said, hard not your heart, you know, when he did the altar call, people came. Yeah, yeah. And the people that came wanted change. Yeah. And the people that came was a direct reflection of the message that he was given. Yeah. That we need to do better. Yeah. We got to come out our comfort zone and do better. Right. We just can't be concerned with our little crew because he talked about how our parents was raised in Champaign. Uh, uh, their jobs was in Champagne, and the kids was raised in Champagne. Now the grant, he talked about Champagne being a common denominator for all hands to be on deck and take it personal that this is our town. Yeah. And so he did. He he gave incredible charge. He walked like your word. He walked through the word and he taught. He hit it from so many different angles, right? Because he knew. Right. In the sales world, we call that product knowledge. He had the knowledge of the whole situation, and God anointed him. He anointed him to have the whole message from A to Z. And as you can see, folks responded. Folks that really hadn't been to church in a long time came to the altar, and we just loved on one another. Mm -hmm. And one of my good friends, Dooch, looked at him and said, Julio, we just can't do this once. Right. We got to do this. I'm the, I'm the wilderness. 
and I'm crying out for this. This is what I need. This is what I've been missing. I'm going to say, no, go ahead. I'll come back. I'll you know, come back. You know, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and some of the things that he talked about to Jerry, mm -hmm. Darren with his character, mm -hmm. his character, mm -hmm. he, he, he was a funny guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he, mm -hmm. he pops up mm -hmm. on everybody, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I run into him, and I run into him at the Legion. I might be in my old school, mm -hmm. and, and, and one day I'm out there, mm -hmm. out back with my old school, and my exhaust is kind of kicking. Right. And he said, man, what, do you work for the city or something? What you, what you out here trying to help with the mosquitoes or something? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and he just was real me, with it. Yeah, he was, it just threw me all the way off, but mm -hmm. we couldn't do nothing but laugh. Mm -hmm. And that's the type of guy he was, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And so, um, but he pointed this out, and I love Julio for pointing this out. And this goes back to what you were just talking about. He talked about Darren didn't really fit because he had been all over the world and had saw all different types. So Julio talked about, he would tell stories about how it was overseas. He would tell stories about what he had seen, his experiences. Right, right, right. And so that's why he was able to touch so many. You know, and, and, and one thing he referred back to is our Midwestern mindset. Mm -hmm. Our Midwestern so mindset. mindset. Yes. You know, you, you, you know, as a man thinketh, so is he. So is he or mm -hmm. she. Mm -hmm. So as a man thinketh, mm -hmm. we get locked into mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. mindset mm -hmm. that we got right here, just mm -hmm. in Central Illinois mm -hmm. or the Midwest, mm -hmm. instead of being regional, mm -hmm. instead of being, you know, uh, uh, diverse from continent mm -hmm. to continent. Mm -hmm. You know, well, we we've been overseas mm -hmm. and we've seen different mm -hmm. things and we've seen lifestyles and mm -hmm. we've seen mm -hmm. other people doing other mm -hmm. different things. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing new to us mm -hmm. when we see something new. Mm -hmm. But to some folks, taking them on campus is strange. Right, right. Just across universe right. is strange. Right. Now, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to get deep for a minute, uh, just for a minute. So when we was growing up, it was nothing for people to have a broke television this big. And they might have one that worked on top of it. Mm -hmm. But I never really liked nothing broke. If it's broke, either fix it or throw it away. Because if, if it's broken, it's sitting there, uh, my buddy Jake said, it's just taking up space. And so Darren and us, we've seen stuff from a whole different level because we've been to Iraq, we've been to Afghanistan, we've been to Germany, we've been to Korea. And so a lot of people that haven't seen they don't have no problem with stuff being broke. Right, right, right. You see right, what I'm saying? Right. Because it's taking up the space where if you take it out, it would be a reminder that something's missing. I don't want to get too deep. But but Julio kind of hit on that in this in a whole different direction. But the thing is, Sean, people are walking around here and they're used to broke. President Obama said the other day, man, this ain't normal. Moving around in dysfunction. And, and when he's moving around, and, and when he said that, it blew me away. Because, Sean, I, I have to, I, I, I was listening to Obama. Man, I got to get out of town at least once a month, so I don't let this consume me. Right. But there's people walking around here and say, what is Hub complaining about? Because they don't know no better. So, 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 they, Hub, they, they so used to it. They so accustomed to so it. So, Hub, let's roll it back. Okay, okay so after Darren's service, mm -hmm. Bam, another, next week, another tragedy. Another tragedy. David Sankey killed. 16-year-old mm -hmm. in Garden Hills. Mm -hmm. I've been cutting the boy mm -hmm. up since he was a baby. Mm -hmm. Young man, mm -hmm. I've been cutting him up mm -hmm. since he was a baby mm -hmm. down in my barbershop. Mm -hmm. He killed, mm -hmm. okay? Come back, mm -hmm. come back. Lord trying to tell us something. Mm -hmm. President Obama come to town. Mm -hmm. University of Illinois. Yes, sir. Fuller Auditorium. Yes, sir. He accepts an award here. Yes, sir. Town. He makes a monumental speech. Yes, sir. Right here in Champaign, Champaign Illinois. That went all over the nation. That went all over the whole nation. world. Yeah. That yeah. went across this world yeah. uh, uh, against the Trump mm -hmm. administration. administration. Yes, sir. What they stand mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. how they're taking us mm -hmm. back, how mm -hmm. they're dividing the country, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all of those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, just got right down and deep. He's our president mm -hmm. because he came right down that road where we man. all saying, man, what is going on? Man, he spelled it out. What is going on? They say the man was so good. They worried about Trump not being able to concentrate on running this next race because my man hit him with nothing but the truth. I he said the White House run around 10 percent of the stuff that, that Trump do. The White House don't even carry it out. 
We, that's too dumb. We're not going to do that. But we're going to do the other 90%. But that, he said, there ain't no way to run. And, and, that's, how, and that's off the Witterer book that came out mm -hmm. acknowledging that and then high level officials that's in his administration yes. know he's a clown. Yes. Know he's a clown. Yes. And, yes. It, and are not going to put yes. the American people mm -hmm. in any type of danger. Mm -hmm. But they would do it 90% well, of the time well, Obama, well, Obama's point. Keep on looking out for the American people. Yeah. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. Keep on looking out. Keep on doing what's right even in you in the atmosphere mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then right after that, because man, God trying to tell us something. Yeah. Right after that, after Darren's service, big shouts out to Penny Allen mm -hmm. and, and uh, Anthony Allen because mm -hmm. they had their 25th wedding mm -hmm. uh, anniversary and renewal Vow, vows. renewal and retirement. And retirement. Mm -hmm. that, that was the mm -hmm. weekend, but mm -hmm. that particular night of mm -hmm. the services, mm -hmm. and we all went over to the, re over to the renewal of the vows. Mm -hmm. Pulled up in the parking lot, pulled up in the parking lot, and when we jump out the car, run into another one of our classmates, buddies I then grew up with, is Howard Brent. Mm -hmm. Howard Brent goes into the hospital the next week for a simple minor surgery. Mm -hmm. Surgery goes wrong. Next thing you know, we see pray for Howard. Next thing we see, Howard passed. Just sat down at the same table, mm -hmm. ate dinner, mm -hmm. Went outside, mm -hmm. chopped it up with him, mm -hmm. hugged on him, mm -hmm. him and his wife. Mm -hmm. See you, see you later on. Mm -hmm. S something's happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just was in the hospital mm -hmm. with another classmate of ours, yeah. mm -hmm. and David Williams, yeah. who was a mailman, found him uh, in his front yard. Wow, had been there maybe almost a day. And David Sankey got shot in the head mm -hmm. by another suspected teenager. Mm -hmm. We did mm -hmm. candlelight vision and all that mm -hmm. out in the hills mm -hmm. for two, over 200 mm -hmm. hurt kids mm -hmm. at, for that situation. Mm -hmm. So what I want to, what I'm, what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. what's wrong? What? what is going on? And what I would, and what I came up with, because I listened to my buddy T.D. Jakes, mm -hmm. and what T.D. Jakes said, the devil dwell within dry places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our society has gotten dry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where the devil is mm -hmm. seeking who he can devour. Mm -hmm. Whether if it's mm -hmm. whether whether if it's the whether if it's you know you're not on top of your game mm -hmm. and your profession, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you just letting folks slip away, mm -hmm. yeah, you 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 in charge, mm -hmm. you you in leadership, mm -hmm. but you angry, mm -hmm. you bitter, mm -hmm. you frustrated, mm -hmm. you mad, mm -hmm. you don't really care about mm -hmm. what you're doing, you just mm -hmm. there for the money, mm -hmm. give me the bread. Mm -hmm. But that's that broke TV, and we're we're cool with that broke P TV. Because it's covering a space, you know, but really it's purpose is perpetrating something that's not even producing. We got people in positions that you broke. You're not even producing, but we focus on where we got somebody in the spot. I'd rather have that. Uh, I'd rather not have that TV. I'd rather that space be missing so I know that I need to get something to fill that space because as long as I broke TV there, I'm content because the space is filled. You know, Brother Hub, I just, we j I just was on, a, on our radio program mm -hmm. on this past Sunday and I talked about this and I'm going to hit it a little bit mm -hmm. back up off of it. Mm -hmm. But um, District 1's city council person, mm -hmm. it's Clarissa Form, mm -hmm. African American mm -hmm. from the African American community mm -hmm. here. Uh, I don't see her moving around too right, much. Right. But Council just gave $3.5 million mm -hmm. to Shachomi Campbell. Mm -hmm. The other guy, they give $200 and some thousand mm -hmm. dollars mm -hmm. um, to, um, mm -hmm. got approval to Shachomi Campbell. Mm -hmm. it did 18, wrongfully convicted. 18 years. 18 years. And she didn't want him to get nothing. In prison. Yeah. She voted against yeah. him yeah. to get yeah. 3.5. Yeah. I mean, this man had to really, really, literally get back and reconnect themselves and re- um, and reconnect and re uh, do, build relationships mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. with his own family after 18 years. What's your name? You, you know, you. It, 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 I was just giving an analogy the other day, and I said, you know, um, a girl had been gone from Champagne. I just did a funeral on Saturday, and a girl had been gone for 10 years, and I hadn't seen her in 10 years. And she said, "Sean, don't you remember me?" And I, you know, you hate to you hate to tell people you don't remember them. So you like. Uh, Tell a little white lie, oh yeah, I remember you. Really, I didn't remember. I didn't remember who she was. Then that's 10 years of being on the streets. Mm -hmm. Just imagine 18 years of being incarcerated. 
no sympathy, no empathy for this, what this man then went through, not trying to get down to the mm -hmm. to the bare bones men and mm -hmm. uh, uh, bare bones of what happened, mm -hmm. what what the TVs mm -hmm. broke, mm -hmm. what happened during that right. era right. to make these guys right. uh, trump up evidence, right. trump right. up charges, right. whatever the case might right. have been. Forget all that. He it, doesn't deserve he anything. Don't I'm, yeah, and her, yeah. what her statement was, yeah. I'm tired of people um, saying things about law enforcement. Right. Well, you got to understand the time that I've sat in mm -hmm. meetings, mm -hmm. the time that all the other community people, it was because it, the TV was broke. Our relationship with the police department was broke. And, 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 and our job, because it was called CCAP for a reason, mm -hmm. Community collaboration, you know, trying to build partnerships with the police and mm -hmm. build relationships. Mm -hmm. And all of those meetings we went to all those years trying mm -hmm. to build that relationship mm -hmm. back up. Mm -hmm. So it was an issue. Mm -hmm. But now you the, you the leader. Mm -hmm. But the leader don't care. She don't, yeah, yeah. So how can the yeah. leader represent you right. and the leader don't? You know, it's just like, it's, it's, broke just, TV. it's just like, it's, it's just, broke TV, it's just like the parents, the yeah. parents yeah. of the kids. Mm -hmm. When that leader, see the devil attacks the leader, mm -hmm. whether if it's the father or the mother, mm -hmm. the devil attacks the leader. Mm -hmm. And when he got you sapping all into your mm -hmm. past mm -hmm. and everything that went wrong and mm -hmm. I ain't going to be nothing, I'm nothing, right. I can't be nothing. All of that, all of that, all of that, all of that vomit that you're going through is regurgitated to the kid. Let me tell you this. Last night at 8 o'clock I was in class and they were talking about from birth all the way to Alzheimer's. And if you get enough negative in your life from your parents or your caretakers, at zero to one age, it'll follow you all the way to death. And, they, and I started to bring on here, but it was been teaching class. But that's how important it is to have positive people around you from birth. I asked my daughter to give me a kiss. When she give me a kiss, I said, good girl, and I'm clapping and I'm smiling. Now, two or three months ago, she didn't know what that was. Yeah. But now, she mimicking me because she's getting yeah. older. But it's positive reinforcement. Yeah. My kids, my daughter today, I'm going to testify for a minute. I got to put my hat off for this one. My daughter today called me and said, Dad, I passed the bar. Well, she was in Houston, but she moved to Kansas City, so she had to take the bar over. And my first response was like, did you think you wasn't? But then God pricked me and said, hold on, man. Listen, I, I know you expect me to do this, but you need to be appreciative to her, and you need to be appreciative to me because I don't ever want to take God for granted, but my point is when she was Six years old, she told me, Daddy, I want to be a lawyer. So we we've been developing that all the way through. So what's that got to do with you talking about? A lot of these kids, man, I was in Danville, set up one day in this summer in the park, and this woman cussed her two or three-year-old kid out from one end, of, and it just made me cringe because she has no clue. She's a broke TV. She has no clue the damage that she's calling with that child. And if the child does end up being okay, it's gonna to have to be more, like 10 times more positive to, to get all that negative out. So you 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 could have taught our special education class last night That's crazy. with what you said. That's because crazy. it's important. That's crazy. But Sean, man. they broke, man. That's crazy, They man. broke, and we're content. This town is content with watching a broke TV just because it's in space. It's in the space. And a lot of people ain't been nowhere. Bro, I got out of town. I went to go see my godson play. I paid about $800 just to go see my godson play and come right back. But that $800, me and my wife got away for one day. One day. But whew, because, man, if I don't be careful, this stuff will consume me. Because there's so many people. It's normal. Obama say this ain't normal. And 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 the sad part about it, it's in leadership. Yes, that's where it starts. It's in leadership. Yes, sir. Uh, across the board. Across the board. Across the board. It's in leadership. The wilderness so, is so, crying out so, for a voice. So so you mimicking what you see, like you said with your daughter. You mimicking what you see. And if you see chaos all day long mm -hmm. in the household, you see unrestless. 
you know, ain't no, ain't nothing, ain't nothing peaceful. Mm -hmm. You don't see, you don't see nobody striving, mm -hmm. nobody doing something outside mm -hmm. the box, mm -hmm. nobody conquering their fears, mm -hmm. getting past the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't see nothing like that happening. Let me, let, let, you, you stuck. Let me, let me say well, this real well, back quick. Back in the day, when you yeah. say you stuck it's like Chuck. Chuck. Let me say this real quick. So I'm, I'm, I'm student teaching, really it's called practical. I'm not student teaching yet, but I'm, I, I go observe kid. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, instead of me going to Easter now, I'm observing a kid and, and learning how to figure out what's wrong, what type of behaviors. But I also got LDA going on on Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday morning today, right, 45 kids... 45 kids got up, got up about 6 o'clock in the morning instead of 7.15 because they don't have to be to school to 8.20. So instead of them getting up that they normal 7.15, they got up around 6 because they started piling in the door about 20 to 7. And most of these kids, I don't know because they ain't in the building no more, Sean. You know why? Because the wilderness is crying out for a voice. I ain't going to even continue. You roll it. <laughs> the wilderness you, is you, crying you, out for a voice. Anytime the kids gonna go to school an hour or two early, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. man, they looking for something. And, and, and so I ain't trying to hear what <laughs> folks saying about the parents either. I really ain't. I ain't. And I'm not saying that our parents just not doing what they supposed to do. But I know, I know that if you lock into that kid and they know you care, ain't nothing else gonna matter. They going to parent the parent like you did out there. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep on that. But they going to You taught the kids when we took them all around. You taught them how to parent the parents. Man, you could go to your parent and be a parent to your parent if you go in the right spirit. You gotta have, you, your motives got to be pure. And like I told them young men that had that issue with the parent, mm -hmm. I told them, I said, man, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. I said, God got you at the program mm -hmm. today. Don't worry about mm -hmm. who ain't at the program. Mm -hmm. God sent you to the program. Mm -hmm. So now this is the message that God giving me to give to you. Mm -hmm. You go back to the, the, the dad or whoever mm -hmm. it is that's mm -hmm. causing disruption. Mm -hmm. Don't you love us? Mm -hmm. Don't you love us? Mm -hmm. Don't you love my mama? Mm -hmm. Like I love my mama. Mm -hmm. And it was heavy. And they received it. And, and, and They received and, it. And he's like. I said he can't do nothing but flip mm -hmm. the script mm -hmm. because sometimes the message got to come through the kid. A child should lead him is what the scripture says. The message got to come through and, the kid. And a child should lead him. And that way, that way, when, when that message come through, then when that message come through, Jason, get us. When that message come through, then mm -hmm. the, the dad going to mm -hmm. accept it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he gonna, he got it's no going gonna to put something back on his mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of times he... We, we, we ignore stuff so long, mm -hmm, huh, mm -hmm. that it just become infected, mm -hmm. infected, mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. infected. Mm -hmm. And so what our community is, mm -hmm. is infected, mm -hmm. infected. Because mm -hmm. everybody going around the issue. Mm -hmm. So the guy that mm -hmm. did that mm -hmm. murdered my buddy, mm -hmm. and I'm part of it too, mm -hmm. we let him just be infected, mm -hmm. infected. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and he, he, he giving us snippets. Mm -hmm. He, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all over the community for years and years and years. And we all like, man, oh, we running That's from him because we're scared. Mm -hmm. We running from him because, mm -hmm. oh, we didn't accept it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. got to stop accepting You, you, you didn't accept it, the broke TV. It's filling the space. If I take the broke TV out, I'm going to have an empty space. And we putting that in the new house. The broke TV in the new house. It move every time we move. Every, we broke it. But then we say, Man, champagne ain't nothing, man. What I'm going to do with I'm a going, broke toaster? I'm, go, I'm, I'm going to Atlanta. We take all the broken furniture mm -hmm. with our brokenness mm -hmm. down to Atlanta mm -hmm. and break it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We go all the way to Texas, mm -hmm. broken, mm -hmm. and break mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The wilderness mm -hmm. is crying mm -hmm. out for, for a voice. voice. Right. It's right. me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. prayer. Yeah. It's me, yeah. oh Lord. Yeah. I'm it, broke. It's, see, see the, the TV, I want to stay on the TV because uh, I'd rather talk about the TV instead of the town. The TV, the broke TV is really an imposter. It's fool's gold. It's a Mickey. We, you know, we, uh, huh? It's a Mickey because it's really not serving any purpose. You see what I'm saying? So it's really fool's gold, but we locked into it. 
We locked into it because it's taking up space. But in reality, in reality, it's, perpet it's perpetrating something that don't even produce nothing. It doesn't produce nothing. It's just taking up space. And man, I had to, I had to, I had to boom, boom, because I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to see, I'm going to see God's purpose for my life being here. I'm going to see it all the way through. But I'm, if I don't be careful, and the man preached that night, um, um, Irvin Williams, bless my soul, man, I just, because he said it. He said, if you don't be careful, you'll pick up their spirit. And you'll be talking, you'll be looking at stuff saying it's okay. Then you, do, you, do you remember Remember back in the day, and we used to have, our, we used to have some fun as mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. around here in Champaign. Mm -hmm. But we had a game mm -hmm. called tag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. tag you, you mm -hmm. go run, tag somebody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. That's how that infection mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. I sit mm -hmm. around you and just mm -hmm. pour all my mess on you mm -hmm. and, and get you all negative down mm -hmm. in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the house, mm -hmm. you destroy your whole household mm -hmm. with negativity. Mm -hmm. They go to school, mm -hmm. they destroy all the kids' mm -hmm. dreams at school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they don't go with the proper mm -hmm. the proper st and tools and, mm -hmm. and stuff to make them successful. Mm -hmm. And then when they get when you get ready to tell somebody your dreams, your aspirations, what you want to do, mm -hmm. because they don't see it within themselves, mm -hmm. they destroy yours. But that's because the TV uh, didn't. <laughs> I'm going back to the TV. You broke with a job. Now, if I'm gonna be broke, I I want to be broke without no job. I don't want to be broke and have a job, right? I don't want to be. I don't want to be. Lonely and married, at least if I'm lonely and I'm single, you know, I ain't looking to roll over and touch. But we running around here lonely and married. Ain't that something? We broken down jobs. Ain't that something? Don't, ah. don't want to work together. Don't want to put our resources together. Don't want to pump nobody up. Can I say this Don't want to support nobody. I really believe from Pastor Julio Andujo coming here. We got hope. That we got hope. We got hope. I, I, and, and, we got hope. And, 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 and I don't believe Darren Mitchell's life is in vain. Because I think people, uh, what's my brother's name? Philip Smith. Philip Smith done started a whole new hashtag oh, it, it, called The Streets you know Don't what, Love You know me. what? And, and one thing about it, it's a lot of brothers that hit me. Man. It's a lot of brothers that inbox me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. and so um, what I was thinking about when you said about town, because you ain't finna be out of town talking about the town. Because mm -hmm. you didn't you didn't, you didn't, didn't opt it out. Right. You didn't made a settlement. Right. You right. know, so right. leave me to talk about I'm I'm in here. I'm right. moving around the city all day. Right. So right. I talk about town. You can't talk about the town. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Don't, you, you, the views and opinions are adjacent. <laughs> you done broke it out and you 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 took off a yeah, high tail and yeah, ran, yeah, took your yeah, broke TV yeah, with you. Yeah, then don't yeah, talk about the time. Yeah, Just come yeah, visit and mm -hmm, support. Mm -hmm, okay. But I'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. But what I what I what the Lord then put in my spirit when you were saying some life and death is in the power of the tongue. tongue. And yeah. so now mm -hmm. let's move on forward. Yes, yes. And so now let's yes. go to uh let's go to purpose, yes. process, and praise. Okay. Purpose, process, purpose, and purpose, praise. Purpose, process, and okay, praise. Okay, okay, all right. I like that. So first we got to find out, because you can't get to praise mm -hmm. before you find out purpose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, a lot mm -hmm, of us running around mm -hmm, here shouting, mm -hmm, shouting, talking loud, ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to find out what your purpose mm -hmm, is. Mm -hmm. What is the role now mm -hmm. after everything that then transpired? Mm -hmm. What is the role? What is God telling me to do? Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 says, to everything... There is a season. To everything, there's a season. See, we say this year, next year, yesterday, tomorrow. God don't talk like that. God says his language is, and it came to pass. Mm -hmm. And so to everything, there's a season. I'm going to just say this, then I'm going to hand it right back to you. I want to make this clear. To everything, there's a season and the time to every purpose under heaven. So once it drops below heaven, God slaps times on it. The problem is you got all these guys running around. The reason they can a 16-year-old can blow off another 16-year-old head because he ain't got no purpose. When he, when he wake up in the morning, he ain't got no purpose. Ain't, no ain't purpose. nobody taught him nothing. Man, he don't know nothing. All he know is I'm popping mollies, I'm getting high, I'm with my boys, we carrying pistols. And until you replace that with some purpose, until, man, Abraham named his kids. 
They named you. In the beginning, he had us naming an animal. You a tiger. He, we was naming animals. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm, I'm I'm give it to you real raw, and I'm going to give you an analogy. I'm going to give you a, 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 a living testimony of what I had, personally, what run the reason why I closed my barbershop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It had lost its purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It had mm -hmm. lost its purpose. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. we ground rooted it in, it still had some of that effect to it. It's missing. It's some still residue. Had, it still had some residue of what we mm -hmm. had going on, especially when you was around. You know, but, but when I when I when I when I was able to be, I had to be absent. It didn't have the same. It didn't serve the same purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, we was we was we was a fixture in mm -hmm, the community. Mm -hmm. We was a resource to mm -hmm, the community. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. was an uplift to the community. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uplift. You, uh, my business restarted <laughs> on Texas in your barbershop. Man, we was we, now. I've been in the game since put two thousand nine. Now nine years. Look how many, but but it started in look your. How many barbers we put on? Mm -hmm. How many beauticians we put on mm -hmm. through there, man? Mm -hmm. How many how many brothers we put on? We put Dare Luther Bryan D. Mm -hmm. Uh, Coach McClain, mm -hmm. all of them guys, mm -hmm. they would they departed, they went off and they mm -hmm. came back, mm -hmm. and all them guys went off and mm -hmm. was able to be successful mm -hmm. through that shop. Mm -hmm. All them football players, mm -hmm. all them mm -hmm. all them wrestlers, and mm -hmm. all them different mm -hmm. guys, all them all those mm -hmm. those uh, graduates. Mm -hmm. Cause we had a lot mm -hmm. of successful graduates. Mm -hmm. I had one brother that was at my barber shop. Mm -hmm. He told me don't say nothing. He was a prince in his country, mm -hmm. but he would come down to the barber shop every week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of his mm -hmm. thing to get the reason why he wanted to come, he wanted to find out. He wanted to he wanted to find out how that community worked. Mm -hmm. He wanted to find out mm -hmm. about about our people, mm -hmm. you know, and how we interacted. Mm -hmm. You of I had a broke TV, but they were sharp enough to understand that the whip had a TV that was working. I'm talking about in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And so they left campus to come down and watch your TV because it gave them reality. Yeah. I had to get out of town to on the regular it. to keep my reality at, because people, dead man walking. Man. Give them a crumb, they'll sell their soul out. You give them a title, put them in charge of something, they'll sell the whole city out Man. for they one or two. And, and, and it's so crazy when you said purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean... When when mm -hmm. I talk to some of my agents stuff, mm -hmm. man, you got to know your purpose. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. got to you got to have a structure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to have a structure. If you mm -hmm. got a dream and an aspiration mm -hmm. in order to get it, mm -hmm. you got to have some structure. Mm -hmm. You got to you got to lay out. You ought to, mm -hmm. on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. You got to know what Monday morning mm -hmm. gonna look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just don't frivolously walk up. Mm -hmm. When when I was down at my barber shop, mm -hmm. some of them guys that came through there mm -hmm. had no, no. purpose. Mm -hmm. At all. Mm -mm. It was just to come by, mm -mm. hang around mm -mm. until mm -mm. maybe the girl got mm -mm. off work mm -mm. or something, mm -mm. something. Mm -hmm. But no purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and sometimes what I see, and this is views and opinions of sound, mm -hmm. what I see when you walking around with no purpose, mm -hmm. um, what what my buddy T D what my buddy Les Brown said mm -hmm. is they that that you died at age twenty one, mm -hmm. but you don't get buried till age seven. Mm -hmm. I repeat that. Mm -hmm. You died at age 21, mm -hmm. but you don't get buried till 70. Mm -hmm. That meaning that your dreams mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. your aspirations mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. your, your, your sense of purpose mm -hmm. died mm -hmm. because of a failure, mm -hmm. because of a bad mm -hmm. relationship, mm -hmm. because of one person denied your mm -hmm. access. Mm -hmm. You went to one community. Mm -hmm. You've been in one community. Mm -hmm. Man. Even with a hurricane coming, man, there's so many communities out there. It's, it, Sean, it, I'm going to make this statement, and you tell me what you think about it. It's dangerous to know your purpose. Because, see, once you know your purpose, this Les Brown, too. Once you know your purpose, you're responsible for living out your purpose. The reason I can look at the TV or anybody and say the Park District is bogus for who they hire because it's my purpose to sound the alarm on that. I can't sleep at night if I let that ride and don't say nothing. I can't sleep at night. Now they gonna do what they gonna do, but it's my job to sound the alarm. And I wanna sleep at night. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the problem. Well, you know, anytime that we having this much stuff happening, mm -hmm. a 14 year old just got shot mm -hmm. in Danville. Mm -hmm. Just the other 14 night. years old. 14 years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. Right in front of the house. Mm -hmm. Anytime we see this type of stuff happening mm -hmm. and we don't sound alone, mm -hmm. we going alone to mm -hmm. get along. Mm -hmm. 
It, 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 we're immune to mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. until it happened to mm -hmm. our household and our loved one. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you see any of this stuff right, happening, right. And you don't try to do nothing. Right, right. The Bible says if the watchman don't sound the alarm, the blood is required at his hands. That That's something. why I can't go. Y'all can something. say whatever y'all want, something. man. But look at here. Hey, when I meet him. When you, when you, our community, when we see people talking about people, mm -hmm. I mean, just, mm -hmm. just going up, up one side and down the mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. Just see, mm -hmm. and that's why I don't like negative people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be around it mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they're not walking around in a place of peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, mm -hmm. they being utilized mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unconsciously mm -hmm. by the devil mm -hmm. to seek who they can devour. Wow. Yeah. Tearing yeah. down the yeah. peace and yeah. the structure yeah. and the purpose. Right. So right. th they process it different mm -hmm. than mine. Mm -hmm. So it, it, when I talk about process, mm -hmm. the process, once you determine what that purpose is, mm -hmm. you got process. Mm -hmm. And you talked about mm -hmm. it's a certain time frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's getting you prepared because mm -hmm. God already got it already mm -hmm. ready. Mm -hmm. But we got to be ready to accept mm -hmm. whatever God about the throw on us. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. and, and I remember saying, man, That's if I had, I remember good. saying, man, I wish I had this here, man, 15, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready 15 years ago, you, 15, 20 years ago. Because the truth of the matter is the day God can trust you is the day he's going to so, bless you. So check this out, huh? So a lot of times, right? We run around here saying, man, we want to be rich and we want a nice car. Mm -hmm. We want all this here. And what I was listening to T.D. Jakes, mm -hmm. right? And he said, man, it's a whole bunch of crazy people riding around in nice, nice cars. cars. It's a whole bunch of crazy people in big old houses mm -hmm. they getting lost in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at our president. He's, he, he's clueless. He's, so, he's been, he's, people has been waiting on him all his life. He running, he trying to run the country like he run one of his businesses. You, 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 and, and you totally off the mark of purpose. Well, I ain't going to say that because since he's been in office, I've been praying more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so that, that's what it is. Uh, yes, sir. It'll make you But pray. see, that's yeah. our defense. Yes, sir. Yes, that's sir. our defense mechanism, yes, our yes, faith. Sir. Yes, sir. That our faith don't get weary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that our faith don't get weary. Mm -hmm. It might put us back into the Bible. Mm -hmm. It might put us back mm -hmm. on the right track mm -hmm. because that's our defense. Mm -hmm. Cause mm -hmm. and effect. That's right. It's yes, cause sir. and effect. Yes, sir. Yes, this, sir. Because of this, that, this my this this yes, the way sir. I gotta move around. You tough, man. You this tough. the way I gotta move around. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah. and and that's what happens when mm -hmm. when we shut down with community. Like mm -hmm. we in this dry, we in this dry atmosphere mm -hmm. where the devil is just seeking mm -hmm. who he mm -hmm. devour. Mm -hmm. And you know what we gotta do? Mm -hmm. Sit still. Mm -hmm. On a Friday night, mm -hmm. everybody sitting still. Mm -hmm. On a Saturday night, everybody sitting sit still. still. Mm -hmm. Instead of being like David. Right. See, David wasn't afraid. Even though his outfit, right. the guy that, the, the guy yeah. that was, yeah. they was, yeah. they was scared to go, yeah. go uh, tackle yeah. the giant, yeah. Yeah. he going to throw David in an outfit that yeah. didn't fit. Yeah. But he going to give him twos that did what didn't work. But David knew his purpose. See, yeah. see, if you, listen, if the man gave most, if the, I ain't going to say most, but if the man gave us some stuff, oh, the man gave it to me, we put it on. Right? Because we don't know our purpose. David said, hold on, man, this, this ain't me. This you. Don't be trying to make me Give you. Me all this. Let me be different. Can I be who I am? <laughs> Serena, Serena's just trying to be Serena. Right. Why y'all want Serena to be like y'all? Let Serena, that's the beauty of this thing. We all different and we can celebrate our differences. Ain't that something? You see what I'm saying? Dave was like, this ain't me. I can't roll with this song. Give me a rock and a rag and some sp smooth stones. And I'm going to do, you know what I'm saying? And so we have to understand, Sean, our purpose, man. Because my, my God, when you understand your purpose, listen here. When you understand your purpose, you ain't going to go in the store and they got 20 shirts the same and you're going to get one. No. Yeah. You ain't going to do it. Man. You're not going to do it because you say, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't purpose to dress like 19 other guys. Man. When I come out, I want to be different. When you look at me, I want you to see different. I'm not saying I'm no better than you, but I'm, I want to be who God made me to be. God made me shine. He didn't make me hug. And, 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 and it's a shame that you run around got your eyes on what somebody else got. Because you don't know what it took for them to get it. <laughs> It's, mm -hmm. it, and, and in order for some of this stuff, mm -hmm. man, it takes a, a man a whole heap of process, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But people don't want to go do the process. That's the you said purpose. Process. And then, and then once you finish, once you know your purpose, you still got to go through the process. You got to go through the process. You got to go through it. You got to go through the. You know, I mean, when I when I'm running into some of these people that maybe lost a loved one, mm -hmm. you know, when I first got in business mm -hmm. probably nine years ago, mm -hmm. and then now you can see the glow on their face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they but they went through this heavy burden mm -hmm. during that whole. Mm -hmm going through mm -hmm. that situation mm -hmm. of the loss of the loved one, maybe a mom or something. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, they done found their purpose. Mm -hmm. And now they going, they done went through that tough process. Now they done found they, they done found they, 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 they purpose back mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. And now they going through this ritual of praise. Mm -hmm. Shine, man, I, man, I'm such a better place now. Because mm -hmm. you, you can see the weight lifted mm -hmm. off of them. Mm -hmm. But you got to be able to go through that mm -hmm. or maybe transition of a job a lot of times we don't like to we don't like when things change up on us mm -hmm. surprising change mm -hmm. supervisor come on the job and change mm -hmm. or you going through some type of change mm -hmm. you know but mm -hmm. i mean it is what it is you got to be able to go through that to get to the next level because when do, one don't close mm -hmm. another one gonna open mm -hmm. if your faith <laughs> don't fail you let me, let me let me talk about process real quick yes sir up until monday my guy that was in the building for LDA, my right hand, he left. His wife graduated from university with a master's, got a big job in Ohio, so he left. So when I tell you up until Monday, I had some candidates, but they were females. Mm -hmm. And I already had a female, and I wanted to have one female, one male. Up until Monday, I said, God, you're going to do whatever you want to do. If I have to fill in, I'll fill in, but I really want somebody in the building. And don't you know, Monday, in the teacher's lounge, the guy came up to me and said, I'm your man for LDA. I was at the elementary school last year. I teach sixth grade here. I'm excited. I want to be here. I want to be a part. I've heard about it. And so I had to trust the process. My heart is open, right? My motives ain't, are pure. So, Lord, this is yours. And I want to run it with a spirit of excellence, but I need your help. You know, uh, we just talked about this here earlier when I was before I went to lunch. And so I don't want nobody on my team that don't want to be. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody mm -hmm. in my life that mm -hmm. don't want to be. Mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want I don't want nothing that ain't for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing that ain't for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want something somebody else got. Mm -hmm. Even when my buddies back in the day mm -hmm. was riding slick mm -hmm. and they come over to my house mm -hmm. and they got the nice this mm -hmm. and that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want what they had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted my mine. Mm -hmm. I wanted my own. Mm -hmm. You got to want mm -hmm. your own mm -hmm. and you got to be willing to put your own mm -hmm. work in. Mm -hmm. I want a better community. Mm -hmm. I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to make a difference in the lamp. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't want to go to California mm -hmm. and make a difference. Mm -hmm. Let me make mm -hmm. a difference right, right here. here. Mm -hmm. Right here where the, where, mm -hmm. the, where, the, where the people counted me out at. Mm -hmm. Right here where the teacher says, Sean, mm -hmm. you'll never be anything. Mm -hmm. Right here mm -hmm. in my community, right where I see death and destruction, mm -hmm. where I see my buddies getting killed. Mm -hmm. Where I see a lot of my buddies mm -hmm. going to an early mm -hmm. grade, where I see these kids running around and hurting. Mm -hmm. Where I ran around here hurt. I'm going to give you some bad news because I've been with you through your whole process and I've seen you grow, you way bigger than Champagne, whether you like it or not. And so I'm not saying you're not going to be a blessing to Champagne, but God's vision for you is bigger than Champagne. So you're going to be a blessing to Atlanta. You're going to be a blessing to L.A. You're going to be a blessing to all these. I, and not saying you're not, because T.D. Jakes try to be home every Sunday. Mm -hmm. But he might be any kind of where mm -hmm. during the week. And because God has his hand on you and because of the process that you experienced and endured and continue to trust him, you're bigger than champagne. But you know what? The vehicle going to be champagne. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. The, the, yeah, the means yeah, of transportation yeah, going to be yeah. through champagne. Yeah, well, this because, for the process. Because what I've yeah. always told our city officials and mm -hmm. city leaders, mm -hmm. that we are the pilot. Mm -hmm. We the pilot mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the textbook mm -hmm. of the way the rest of the world should operate, mm -hmm. the rest of these communities. Mm -hmm. When we're going through situations mm -hmm. here, we should, mm -hmm. we, we can define mm -hmm. on how to solve those issues mm -hmm. through other communities. Mm -hmm. So when those other communities come in, mm -hmm. they, they come in and say, how did you do that? Mm -hmm. Just That's like, right. just like you right. did with the 45 kids yes, and, and teachers coming yes, up. Sir. What, yeah. what made them get up this yeah. morning? Yeah. Yeah. What did you do? And, and you know what's so lovely? I, and I, I'm going to say this, and, and, and this, the rest is yours, man. But, man, when I walked in that school this morning about 
I, right, right when I pulled up the park, it was two kids getting out the car. I never want a kid waiting at the door. And so I hurried up, hurried up and I got there and they was just coming in and they was just coming in. And even afterwards, just the atmosphere of the school, the teachers was happy. Some of the kids was uh, 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 referred there. Hey, you ought to try LDA, you know, and maybe it's because we set up at one of the parents night. But it, it, it was a team effort. There's no way that 45 kids was there because of me. Right. I ain't, right, I ain't, right. I ain't that cool like right, that. Right. You know, but it's a beautiful, it made me happy because I saw teachers, I saw parents, I saw uh, the other leaders, Miss Kirby and Zach and my wife, and it, it all hands on deck. Look how, look how, now, now look all how, hands now on look deck. how, look how a program mm -hmm. and things can work mm -hmm. when we all just do our part. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. all just do our part. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody that's neglected and, and don't look on the past. Maybe you didn't do nothing in the past. Maybe you didn't vote in the past. Mm -hmm. Maybe you ain't go to a city council meeting in the past. Mm -hmm. But notice your value now. Mm -hmm. Because your value mm -hmm. with everything that didn't happen mm -hmm. is that saying, it's time for me to go. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go to a meeting. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to, you know, not be locked in at my church mm -hmm. and what's going on at my church. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to move around. Move around. Because there's no sense of getting all these great messages all these right. years and you right. ain't sharing nothing. Right. And it, what should motivate them, and talk about this a little bit, is Brother A-Dub, Sister Carolyn, Jamar, Byron Clark, Dante Lotz, Bruce Brown. Uh, I felt like I saw Obama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, when them, them guys went the, the audacity I mean, of know, hope. You know, nephew, them talk, they, they had pictures with, with President Obama, you know, and, and it, it was inspiration. Mm -hmm. I was working. Mm -hmm. You know, I was working. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make it down there. I would have loved to put my but eyes on But I made it, you know through, them. I I, made you know, it I, through them. I made it. I would have loved to have been yeah, there, yeah. you know, to get my own yeah. handshake yeah. and what up. Yeah. But I didn't make it. But but it was great yes. because you ought, to be, you ought to be happy when somebody else That's happy, what man. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. When you see somebody else happy and fulfilling their stuff and they dream, I got it. That's inspired because right. they was inspired. I thought Linda Roof was going to kiss him. Hey. Huh? <laughs> hey, she, she wanted to ask some questions. Yes, sir. And so when you see somebody doing something, man, stand behind mm -hmm. that somebody mm -hmm. in our community mm -hmm. and let's push people yes. forward, man. Yes. I yes. think that's the total message of what mm -hmm. Julio was really trying to mm -hmm. say, man. Let's push our mm -hmm. folks mm -hmm. forward in mm -hmm. this community, man. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to take, make somebody take three or four steps back. Mm -hmm. You see somebody open a business and you, you and they, they sell hair, support them in, mm -hmm. in the hair business. Mm -hmm. They doing Whatever it is, mm -hmm. if it ain't nothing but a hauling business, food push them trucks, in up, food trucks, yeah, whatever man. it is, food finance. Trucks, yeah. I know a girl doing finances mm -hmm. and doing all kinds of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Man, let's push our mm -hmm. people to mm -hmm. their destiny, mm -hmm. man, because mm -hmm. we got some great people in Champagne, mm -hmm. and we got some great people doing some uh, uh, some some extremely great mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. and we got a great future mm -hmm. ahead of us. Mm -hmm. And let's all put all, what you said, all hands on all deck hands to on make deck. it happen, because yes. we got some great kids here in this community. We got some great adults, and we got a great University of Illinois in a yes, great sir. city. Yes, and let's sit back and push our city mm -hmm. to the next level. Yes, and that's where I'm on. Yes, that's sir. what I'm on. So I thank the Lord for everybody that tuned in to us. Mm -hmm. Jason, I thank you for pausing your day. Everybody that's viewing us through the Facebook streams, our live uh, television uh, segment, hey, I appreciate it. My brother Hub, yes, I appreciate you yes, pausing sir. your day for this yes, hour. Sir. Hey, look, until next time, thank let, you for, let that, the truth, for, that, for another let episode. episode. I let, let the, the truth, truth be, be told. told. All right. Share, share, share. <laughs>